Hello everyone! Data labels can convey additional information about the developments in your chart and comment key points in it. For example, this chart carries two key pieces of information. First, it shows the largest sales in descending order. But are the top performers really so good? Actually, the third one had the highest growth rate. Information like this can be stressed in the comments. Also, the comments are dynamic and change based on filter selection. In this video, you will see two ways how to create such dynamic effects. The second method is also colorful. To achieve the effect of dynamic commenting without using Visual Basic for applications, I will use two features of data labels. I did some preparation work in advance. By changing the data to a table, this is done by selecting a data range and pressing Ctrl and T. I also added a column chart with sales and thousands for the year 2021. So the table has some brands, chocolate types, and sales and thousands for the years 2020 and 2021, as well as the growth of the sales in percent. Let's add a slicer by clicking the table and inserting it. I will choose chocolate type. Adding a slicer will help to filter the table easier and faster. Let's add data labels. And format them. And the two features that I'm talking about is specifying values from cells in the labels and under number. Specifying a custom formatting and format code. The first feature, value from cells, fetches values from specified cells for the labels. So a dynamic comment has to be in those cells. Let's add an additional column and write the formula for dynamic comment. My comment will be about the growth rates, the maximum and minimum growth rates. I will use the function aggregate because I will be changing the filter selection so the hidden rows have to be ignored, which function aggregate supports. Let's write the condition. If the value in the cell, so the growth rate, is the maximal of the growth rates, that is number 4 in the function aggregate, and I will ignore hidden rows, number 5. Now I have to specify the data range. So if it's a maximum, then the following text should be displayed. Best rate joined with the rounded result of this number being multiplied by 100 because the fraction which shows up as a percent because of the formatting. And this number rounded without decimal places and joined with a percentage sign. And I'll also add an empty space after best rate. Let me copy this condition also for the minimum. And write a second nested function. So I will change the maximum to a minimum, that's number 5, and best to worst. And if none of these are applicable, then nothing. So now we have the worst rate and the best rate. Let's add these to data labels. I will click value from cells and specify that the range should be the column where dynamic comment is. And the separator I will specify new line, just to make it nicer. 
I can also take this label, for example, and adapt it to make it look a bit nicer. Now I can click on it and click on Clone Current Label. And now, if I change the selection, the comment automatically changes because it's dynamic. The second feature is a custom number formatting. It's exactly like the custom formatting of values and cells. For example, if I click on a cell and choose Format Cells, these are the options I will get. I can choose Custom and put a custom formatting together according to my own preferences. Let's see an example. As our example, I'm going to write positive 50%, negative 50%, and zero. Now I'm going to select them and go to Format Cells. There are certain rules that the custom formatting follows, and I will put a link in the description below with a more extensive source, but in short, these are the main rules. So there are four blocks for positive numbers, negative numbers, zero, and text, each separated by semicolon, and exactly in that order. In the blocks, I can specify color in square brackets, add symbols, specify how many decimal places should be shown with a number, or if the number should be shown at all, add text in quotation marks, and certain characters, like percentage signs, don't need quotation marks at all. Let's see our example. So in our example, I would like the positive numbers to be green. So in square brackets, I will write green. Please note that the color is language specific, so if you're using Microsoft Office in another language, you may need to put a different word here. I need an arrow pointing upwards, which I will get by pressing down Alt and typing 30 on the numpad. I would like the number to be shown without decimal places and as a percent. I also would like to put some text, so I'll open the quotation marks, space to put a space between the number and the word, and write positive. Close quotation marks, semicolon, and now I'm in a negative block. Here I would like numbers to be red, again in square brackets, I want an arrow pointing downwards, which I will get by pressing down Alt and typing 31 on the numpad. Again, without decimal places, as percent. And I will write negative in quotation marks. Semicolon. I would like the zero to be yellow. Again, with a percentage sign. And without any symbols. Or text. Let's check. So this is the result. Let's remove our example. So with this logic in mind, I'll need positive and negative numbers to show different colors in data labels for maximal and minimal values. Let's remove the data labels of the columns and add an extra column to the table. In this column, I will write the following formula. If the value in the growth column will be the maximum of all the growth rates, it should be shown as 1. If it's the minimum, it should be shown as minus 1. Otherwise, nothing should be shown. So if the value is equal to aggregate number 4, 4 is max, let's specify to ignore hidden rows because I'll be filtering the table. Specify the data range. So if it's the maximum, it should be returned as 1. Otherwise, I 
aggregate number five, which is minimum, again specify to ignore hidden rows. The range. So if it's a minimum, it should be shown as minus one. Otherwise, quotation marks for nothing. So now we can see the minus one and one. So one is the highest growth rate and minus one is the lowest growth rate. Now let's add this extra column, which is our helping column, to the chart. So let's add the column to the chart. and change the chart type to a column and line chart with a line on secondary axis for better visibility. Let's add data labels and format them. So in format code, the custom formatting will look like this. The positive value has to be green in color and have the text best rate. The negative value has to be red and have the text worst rate. I would also like to push best rate and worst rate to the top of the chart to make them look neater. I can do this by formatting the axis. So I will set the minimum bound to a very low arbitrary number, and I will also fix the maximum. I will hide the axis by going to text options and clicking on fill. Also, I would like to get rid of the line because I just need the data labels, so no line. And I would like to align the label position above the points that are not visible, the points on the line. Take out show leader lines and sort the sales values, which are in the columns, from largest to smallest in descending order. I will also add data labels here to the columns and format them. So in addition to the value, I will also pull the value from cells into the label and it will be the growth rate. As a separator, I will take new line to make it look better. And instead of the plus minus signs, I would like to have arrow signs or small triangles. And I'll do this directly in the column from which the values get fetched for the label. Again, with format cells. So I want the positive values to have a small triangle or arrow facing upwards. So I'll press Alt and 30 on the number pad simultaneously. No decimal places and percent. Semicolon. For negative values, I want the triangle to face downwards. So I'm pressing Alt and 31 on the number pad. Again, no decimal places and percentage. And for zero, no symbol just the percentage. Let's also make the labels a bit larger for better visibility.
If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more practical spreadsheet solutions.